Welcome to Banana Mars. If you don't know this next comedian yet, you're about to have your mind blown. Give it up for one of my favorites, Sam Taggart. Wow, hello. Um, it is uh, simply incredible to be at Banana Mars today. I'm thrilled. Um, you know, it is kind of a weird time to be like um, recording this because um, currently to the day, it is uh, the one year anniversary of lockdown. Um, and, you know, it kind of begs for reflection. <laughs> and normally, you know, I, I don't really like to self-reflect. I, I think it's kind of problematic because what if I see my own flaws? Yuck, 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 yuck. No, thank you. Um, but it's a special occasion, so when in Rome. Um, so a year ago today, I was actually doing something kind of exciting. I was um, Emily in Paris, which is what I call working temporarily in a foreign country and rudely and almost on purposely not using the language at all. Um, you know, it, it wasn't exactly Paris. Um, I was in uh, the Paris of South America, which is Santiago, Chile. Um, and at this point, COVID was like, you know, it's in the news, you're hearing about it, but it kind of feels like, well, that's not for me. Like, it's kind of like cavities where it's like, yeah, other people get those because they're like, not good people. Like, I'm really, really nice, so I'm not gonna get that, but thank you. So I'm in Chile for work and I'm, you know, during the days, oh, I'm working so hard. I'm working with an incredible team of people. It's hello, it's great job, it's awesome work. We're working. And then, you know, at night, well, I'm in a foreign country, so it's, let's go to a restaurant, let's go to a bar, let's go to a discoteca, why not? I'm again, you know, I'm living it up. And honestly, it was lovely. Or as Emily in Paris would say, it was lovely. She never learned the language. She only speaks English even like a full season in. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, about four days into this um, lovely journey, I get the call that almost every writer, performer, actor begs for. It is the call from the HR department of a giant media conglomerate. <laughs> and I pick up the phone and I am like, yes, this is he. And they're like, um, yeah, hi, um, this is regarding your recent audition. <laughs> and I'm like, this is gigantic. I'm about to blow up, I'm about to pop all the way off. And they're like, yeah, so the person running that audition um, actually did have COVID, so you have been exposed. Um, yeah, so have a good day. And I tried to ask a question and she quickly got off the phone, presumably to tell 25 other men who look and sound almost exactly like me, but some slightly hotter and some slightly less hot that they were also exposed. So I'm in my hotel room and I'm just like freaking out because it's like, wait, I could have this thing, I could have COVID. And then it's like, wait, if I can have COVID, that means I can get like cavities too? Like this is so messed up. Like my entire worldview is crumbling. And then like, I, I can't even think about the cavities because I'm realizing like, oh my God, everyone that I've interacted with, if I have it, has also been exposed. And I'm like running through each delightful little person I've met and it's like, oh, even if we're just counting the elderly, it's like way more people than you would expect. And so I'm fully freaking out and I'm like, okay, it's not a huge deal, it's not a huge deal. Like maybe if you just like, maybe it's already rampant in Chile in this situation, that would be a good thing because you know, I wouldn't be making a huge splash. So I look up how many people in Chile currently have COVID. And at that point, it was 10. <laughs> 10 people had it. And so now I'm like, okay, not only do I have it potentially, but I've maybe doubled or tripled the amount of people that have been exposed in the entire nation of Chile. That's bad. Like, I'm gonna be like the face of evil for generations to come. I'm gonna be in like kids stories about like evil people. <laughs> It's insane, I'm gonna be like what the zebra mussel is to the Great Lakes region, or what Dr. Phil is to Oprah's legacy, or I don't know, what Emily is to Parisians who hate American tourists. <sighs> I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Eventually, I managed to get a test because, well, I know people. <laughs> yeah, I can get a test if I want to. Get over it. And it comes back negative, all good. I'm totally fine. I breathe a sigh of relief, and then I just safely go back to New York and spend basically the rest of the year in my apartment. But, <laughs> you know, I've got a feeling that just like Emily in Paris season two, 
I'll be coming out soon too. And even though everyone's like, no, we're good. You don't really want, you can stay. I'll be coming out soon. People may be like, no, no, thank you. But I'll be coming out. People are like, no, no, I, I'm good. You can stay in your apartment. But I'm coming out soon. And so is Emily in Paris too. Thank you so much. I've been Sam. Does it get any better than this guy? I literally did not stop laughing the whole time Sam performed.